Kruinagel en vandag doen ons palimpses dier die hand belange. So palimpses of palimpses in Engels. Oorspronkelijke skrif word afgekrap of onsigbaar gemaakt, so dat daar weer daarop geskryf kan word. So basically what a palimpses is in deze picture, is that it is like you use the paper and you write on the paper. And then what was written on the paper gets rubbed out. And then someone else rewrites on the paper. Okay, and so if you see this picture, you'll see, you can still see some of the old writing, the first writing that's actually coming through. So pas by die gedig, vernietiging en hergebruik, it really matches like the, it suits the poem. Um, because in the poem you read about destruction and then reusing something. Okay. So this is the poem, let's read it. Please listen out for the enyam bemains in this poem. Okay, so enyam bemains when the one line flows into the other. Bome skryf ten die blau krekelose licht dinge, wat niemand verstaan nie. Houtkappers kom met weile en feil die bome. Melen saag en maal en vulf en vlet die hout. Stil is die bome. Stil net tot hy kletterend met sy tikmachine. Hy het selfs die fijnse grein, die jylle gamma van woord en pijn. Ring op ring, dier die ochend laat duin. Okay, so basically just, oh sorry, before we go to the bow, actually. What this poem basically is describing is a tree being cut down, or trees being cut down, and then being made into paper, and then someone using the paper from the tree to actually write about the trees, or write what the trees want us to say. Okay, so it's sort of that whole idea of the trees are destroyed, made into paper, but the paper is being used again to tell the story of the trees and to maybe write about, you know, what we as humans are doing to nature. So, bow, the build, uiterlik, moderne weergave van een sonet, 13 versreels, octaal plus testet, wat saamgewind word dier die eindruim in versreel 11 en 14. So, just that, you know, what it looks like, it's a modern version of a sonnet, it's 14 lines, there's octaal, eight, line, eight lines and a testet, six lines, and the six lines are sort of like, brought together by the rhyme that we get in lines 11 and 14. And then in a look, what happens to the inside of the poem? So strofe en beeld, strofe twee toepassing. So the first stanza, we have an image, and the second stanza, we have the application. So die rhyme schema is gebroke rhyme. So it's gebroke rhyme because, you know, we said there with like the build that lines 11 and 14 rhyme. And therefore, because there is some rhyming in the poem, it is gebroke rhyme. It can't be freie vers. Because freie vers means nothing should be rhyming. Not true. So this is why it is gebroke rhyme. So bome skryf teen die blau. So trees are rising against the blue. So bome skryf. Personificatie. Die bome groei in die licht. En het lyk asof daar in die jemelruim geskryf word. Bome is die pen jemelruim papier. So just says the trees are growing like into the sky. So it almost looks like the trees are rising in the sky. Krekelose licht dinge, so the crease the sky, rise things, the trees are rising things in the crease the skies. So krekelose licht, licht is glad, geen wolk in die licht nie. So it just says like it's smooth, like you know there are no clouds in the sky, which is opposite of this picture, but um, it's just saying that it's sort of open. So all that you see is sort of the blue sky and the tree the branches growing into the sky looking like it's writing. But niemand verstaan nie, that no one understands. Die bome se boodskap is vir die mens onverstaanbaar. Die mens ken nie die bome se pijn nie. So just says like whatever message the trees are writing in the sky, although it's figuratively obviously, um, whatever they're writing, humans won't be able to understand it because we don't understand the pain of trees. You know, like we don't understand what it feels like to be chopped down and made into different things for human consumption. Um, so yeah. Then lines 1, 2, and 3. Al wat in die blau licht staan, is die hoop bome. Net soos die eerste geskrewe tekst op palimpses wat afgekrap word. So just says, all that's against the blue sky is the, the, the trees, the high trees. And it's the only thing that is there. So it's almost, you know, like, the first writing on the palimpses. Okay, the first writing, you know, before it is rubbed out, that's the only thing we can see at this point. Houtkappers kom met weile en vuil die bome. So just saying that like, oh, what do you call these people who chop down um, trees? But those people, sure, how did I forget the word? So they come with the axes and they chop down the trees. That's what they do. So vuil die bome, geen omdraai kans nie, vuil equals bome afkap. 
So once you've chopped down a tree, there's no, no turn back. You can't glue the tree back on. Okay? So there's just like no return point after you've cut the tree off. Mielen saw and mill and pulp and flex the out. So mills like um, saw and mill and pulp and flatten the wood. So pulp. Fijn gemaakt out, word van papier gemaakt word. So it's obviously like pulp. It's very fine, you know, wood that has been made very fine to make paper. Plate is plat bash or plat stop slant. So plate basically means to flatten it. Arolling van N is polis en beton. Wanneer een proces naar die volgende lijn. So the repetition of the N is polis en beton. Okay, and that's basically when the one process leads to the other process, if that makes sense. Okay, so we say like the people come to cut down the trees and then like the mills saw and mill. Okay, and then pulp and then flatten the wood. So it's like the whole process of basically making paper. Kortsena, amper soos die kap van a bail. So it's almost saying that when you read this, like they're saying short sentences, but it's almost like the, when you read it, like the shortness of adding that in in the whole time sort of mimics the chopping of the trees. Because when you read it, if we just read six and seven, you say, Mielen saag en mal en pulp en plet die uit. Okay, so it's almost like a chopping movement that you can sort of, yeah. I mean, that's very loose, but yeah. Still is die boome, quiet are the trees. In fashi, beklem toen die stilte, door is niks meer oor nie. So the in fashi is basically when it's like the, the wrong sense and structure, if that makes sense. So you're sort of changing it around. And the reason the poet would do that, so it's obviously you have poetic freedom if it's your poem, is the reason they do that is to emphasize something. So in this case, they put the still in the front. It's there to emphasize that the trees are quiet and the fact that there's nothing left. Okay, so there are no more trees writing in the sky. So still, euphemisme. Boomer is dood, maar het wordt op een zachte manier gesê. So still is a euphemism. The trees are dead, but it's said in a very soft way. Instead of saying like, the trees are dead, the trees are chopped down, they're saying the trees are quiet. Okay, they're saying they are, there's silence. So then there we have like a semicolon. Die stilte word dier die typografiese wit is in die stroof as beklemtoon en komma punt voor een deel van die sin, maar dit is een nieuwe idee. So just saying the silence of the trees are being emphasized between like the white space between the two stanzas because that last sentence eight, okay? The comma point, the semicolon tells us that it's going to, the sentence is going to continue. Like the sentence isn't finished. That's not a full stop. The sentence continues into the next stanza, but it is a new idea. So, what they're just describing is the process of trees being chopped down and being turned into something else. Strofe begin en eindig met boome, beklem toon. So this stanza one starts with boome and it ends with boome, the word boome, trees. So they just there to emphasize that the story is about trees and what, you know, like, yeah, well, it's just about trees and trees are sort of the main focus and yeah, it's emphasizing them. Enya bement is in strofes, sin gaan in volgende strofe aan. So there's almost like enya bement and jamment between the two stanzas. Because like I said in line 8, the sentence wasn't complete, it's going in to the next stanza. Still, net op die met sy tik machine, so it's like quiet, just until he types on his typing machine or his typewriter. So still, at all, there's just a repetition of the word still, saying that the trees are quiet. Kletterend is klank na bootse, klank wat iets groot maak as het val. So klettering is basically like, you know, it's a very loud sound. So, you know, I don't know if you've ever heard like a massive tree fall down. Oh my word, it's like such a massive cracking sound. It's actually quite scary. And that's why this is doing here is like the mimicking the sound. Okay, that the tree would make if it falls. But this person is using like their typewriter. So, the speaker in the poem is starting to write and he's indirectly writing like for the trees. So he's speaking for the trees. He's using his voice for the trees. So even out of the finest grain, the whole gamma of word. So fijnste, kleinste gedeelte van die boom. Fijnste is obviously like it's a very small, like the smallest part of the tree. It's very fine. Grain die draad thread vanuit. So it's like the thread of wood. 
Chama, okay? For sure, that's a lot. But Chama is synecdoche, okay? It's what opgeroep maar slechtse gedeelte word gegeen. So one thing is being called up, but it represents a whole thing, okay? So in this case, een letter van die alfabet, maar dit verwijs na jylle alfabet. So it refers to one letter of the alphabet. You'll see now why gamma is the letter of the alphabet. But it refers to one letter of the alphabet, but it talks about the whole alphabet. You can't just use the letter gamma to write like a story. That would be impossible. Okay? So you need the rest of the alphabet. But what gamma is, is the third letter of the Greek alphabet. It's the third letter of the Greek alphabet. Um, pain wordt ook dier hierdie woord uitgedruk. Pain is also like um, expressed with this word. And then something that is interesting a type of encoding where my helderheid verander can be. So it's just like it's a type of like encoding that you can improve brightness with. Uh, which is quite interesting if you think about palimpses. And then if you want to brighten what was written or like emphasize what was written on the first time, you can use something like that. So 11 and 12, skryf a yellow story. So the speaker is just writing like a whole story. Okay, not just like one little thing. And like I said, not just one letter of the alphabet, writing a whole story. En pijn ring op ring dier hierdie ochend laat duin. So it says, just remember it says here, die hele gamma van woord, so the whole alphabet. And pain, ring on ring, let it go on during the morning. So ring op ring, verwijs na die ouderdom van bome en die mens wat ouder word, skeping van die dichter van plaas en pijn, want hy lees sy moesies bloot as hy dig. So it just says like obviously, ring op ring refers to the age of trees. Okay? Um, and also like humans getting older, and the poet just like this, like the speaker. Remember, the speaker is now typing. So the speaker in this poem is also a poet, okay? And this person, the speaker, this poet uses pain to write about their emotions, okay? Dier die ochend laat duin, gaan voort tot in die volgende geslachte dier amal wat het lees. So basically, it just says they like it. It still continues into the next generations through everyone that reads it. So what this like poet has done in the poem is take like the broken sort of like words of the trees or like the the emotional things of the trees and he writes something about it something on paper that will last for a very long time and will go on into next generations okay so it's that whole crushing something breaking something and then reusing it and in this case the person's using it for something good okay maybe they're trying to say that we should stop chopping down so many trees Maybe we should stop um, hurting nature as much as we are. So, yeah. So, strofe 1, skepe beeld, houtkappers waar die bome afkap en papier maak. So, stanza 1, it creates like an image. And this image is like of the trees and then the trees being chopped down and then being made into paper. Strofe 2, toepassing, wanneer iets geskep word dier op papier geskryf, die dichter skryf wat die bome wuise. So, it's just saying, this is the application. So, when something is being created by writing on paper with it. And what the poet is trying to do is to write down what the trees maybe wanted to say. So thema is a theme. Vernietiging, destruction, and our skipping recreation. So the theme is destruction and then recreation. Strofe 1. Vernietiging en natuur ter wille van menselijke behoeftes. So in stanza 1 we get the destruction of nature for human needs. Okay. Um and ones, like things that human wants. Like that's why we're destroying a lot of natures because of what we want, not necessarily always what we need. And then strofe 2, verskye focus na spreker sy haarskepingsproces met papier en sy tikmachine. So just saying like, it's moving the focus to the speaker, like what this speaker is actively doing to create the recreation, okay? And what this poet is doing, the speaker is doing, is he's writing on paper with his typewriter, okay? Die spreker haar skep die bome se woorde, dier sy gedig op papier, predik van bome te tik. So the speaker recreates the tree's words by writing his poem or his essay or whatever on paper, which essentially is a product of trees. And stemming is hartseer of somber, so the tone is sort of like sad and somber especially because the trees are cut down and even you know like we don't actually know exactly what the the poet in the poem actually says about the trees but it could be something that is quite sad because obviously the trees were chopped down and then the poem is universal okay i think like 
um, depending on how you interpret this, but everyone knows about the problems we at this point in the world have with um, like nature and how destructive humans are to nature. So yeah, that's it everyone. Um, I hope this helped you. I did rush this a little bit. So if you need some more clarity, please stay like comment and I'll try to answer as much as I can. Okay, tot ziens allemaal.